So today I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft skin drawing with just a mouse and a free program. Uh, I like template, but anyway. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is download Fire Alpaca, which is a free painting software. It's Japanese, um, so it's pretty old Chinese, I'm not sure. Um, so if you click download for Windows, um, you'll be you'll download it. So I'm just downloading it um, it here. Um, while that's doing that, I'm going to show you some things that I have uh, prepared for you guys. So um, in the description there will be a download. Um, also there will be a download link for Fire Alpaca, but anyway. In the description there will be a download to um, these two things. So this is Minecraft Skin Viewer. Uh, this is my template. Okay, so skin viewer, I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, so that you can see your skin or anyone else's skin so that you can, um, you know, draw it. So I'm going to, for an example, I'm going to use um, this guy's skin because why not? <laughs> um, actually, no, you know whose skin I'm going to use? I'm sorry, shit, Chef. Anyway, sorry, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use, um, what's his name? Oh, yeah use his skin uh, so yeah um, this is done now pretty much I'll open it okay so so yeah you just type in their username with capitals wherever you need them and it will come up in here the download link will be down down below for that as well but yes okay so uh, you want to allow it and you want to click next, 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 install. You'll install. I haven't actually installed mine, so this is a good example. <laughs> Finish. Then you want to open it up. A little bit of preparing we need to do before we actually get into the drawing bit because uh, we want to get it all good. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put my skin right here so you guys can see. Um, what was it doing? Oh yeah. Okay. Right. We want to go file, new, and you want to make it one thousand by. As you know, you don't want to do any of that. <laughs> you want to open up the image that uh, I have put in the description. So go open desktop or wherever you saved it, and just click, double click on the template. So this is the template I've made for you guys. Um, it's just a little Minecraft guy, uh, as you can see. And I'm going to show you how to make him look beautiful. So first thing you're going to want to do is you can see he's got a black outline here. We want to make that faded a little bit because we don't want um, we don't want to get confused as to what this is and what's the what we're making. So you just want to lower that down a bit where it says opacity here. Um, you want to make uh, a new layer on top. Um, I got two here. I, I didn't mean to do that, but these are two new layers. So I'm gonna call, call this one template or temp. We'll call it temp. Uh, this one is gonna be called, cool. and then and then all the rest are just gonna be our on top stuff. Okay. So so uh, the template we don't want to draw on this because uh, if we draw on this, then we won't be able to save it properly, and it will just be a big mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to lock it so you can't draw on it, I'll show you. So you can't do anything, oh, that's not what I meant to do. You can't do anything on it because it's just got this here. Okay, and you're going to go on the layer on top. Um, so this guy has, you know, he's, he's a human, so he has skin this colour. So to get that colour, you just want to go in between yellow and red. Just do that. And this is the colour we want. Okay, so to get the kind of effect that we want, you want to go rectangle and polygon right here on this tool uh, and you want to click round corners and you want to round them by about 60 I believe let me just check if that's right nope you want to round them by 20 sorry did that wrong uh, you want to round the corners by 20 okay um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do his skin we're gonna do this just like this because um, we can add his hair on top um, so that's that done. We can just remove that. 
I'm gonna just uh, so do Control T to um, move things slightly. So I'm gonna just add move this over a bit because I don't really like how big his head is. So you feel free to do stuff like that. You don't have to use my exact template, obviously, um, because that would be silly. Next, you're gonna want to um, add his arms and everything. So his arms mainly are purple, as you can see there. Uh, or pinky purple, so we're gonna grab a pinky purple colour, which this looks about right. Let's see, a bit too purple, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. The way I'm getting rid of things like that is Control Z. So yeah. Um. Also, uh, to do this, and you finished right. There's no way of getting rid of this thing, so you just want to double click. Okay. Right, we're going to make a new layer on top, which is here. This is the layer we drew ahead. This is the layer on top. We're just going to go ahead and trace the line that we've done here. Well, I've done here, should I say. Um, and just... Okay, it doesn't matter about his hand right now, because we're going to do that skin colour anyway. So just do that. We're going to just go down like this, because, uh, you know, he's got... And his, his trousers seem to be purple as well, or pinky purple, so we're going to go all the way down. We're down to about here, and that's where his uh, trousers end, so we'll do that. So. Uh, all this is kind of the same colour, isn't it? So we'll just double click now, well, when we get around here, just to make sure everything looks good. I'm just going to... Go ahead and do that. Okay. That looked bad to me, so I control Z at it. Right. Feel free to do that as many times as you want. Just remember you're gonna have to go over it again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna do the arm on a different layer because I feel like that's gonna be a lot easier for myself. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. That's where his uh sleeve is. And I'm just gonna do that. So that's his arm. And then the layer underneath, because the body goes under the head, but the arm goes above the head. So on the layer underneath, you're going to just want to draw his body right here. Oops, I did that wrong, didn't I? See, I, even I go wrong, and I'm not the best dice in the world, but I'm quite experienced now, so that's good. Um, we're just going to want to do that. Right. As you can see, we can't really tell where the arm ends and the arm starts. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the arm go away. Um, or the body, depending on what you want to do. Uh, so the arm here, uh, we want this to have shade on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the body and just make the opacity down for now. And we're just going to add some shading to the arm here. So what you want to do is you just want to go around like this and add where you want the shading. So yeah, that's where I want my shading. Uh, my body I'm going to make big again. There's my shading, okay? I'm going to make this uh, opacity go down again. And I'm going to grab a, my skin colour. So to do that, you want to press Alt and click where you want the colour. And I'm going to make a layer underneath my body. Oh no, sorry, I'm going to do it on the head layer because all skin should go can go on that layer because uh, it doesn't matter too much I'm just going to add that in there and um, if you didn't know what layers were I'm not sure how advanced obviously you are so layers basically imagine having multiple pieces of um, what's it called tracing paper so this is the first piece this second piece third piece fourth piece and if you draw something on that tracing paper you're not going to see the bit underneath of that so basically that's what it means Okay, uh, so we've done that. Now I'm going to make the other arm. I'm going to make the other arm a darker colour, so this colour here. I'm going to colour pick that, as we did before. And I'm just going to go draw that in. Um, we can always add highlights to it if we need to. Uh, so that just goes like that. So there you go. Uh, I'm also going to add some highlights to that arm. So how the way to do that is to grab your lighter colour and just add a highlight in. So we can just do... And just add that in there. 
so there's a highlight we've added. So this looks pretty good already, I think. Uh, if we get rid of that, it looks pretty good already, I would say. Um, so yeah. If we want to add some shading under the head, we can just go on our um, body tool and we can just add a straight line up here. Not a body tool, you know what I mean. Body um, layer. And we'll just add some shading. And so there you go. Um, so, next thing we're going to want to do is do the trousers and then we'll start doing the detail on the head. Um, you can see he's got like white bits, so we'll do that later. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, so the trousers are also purple, but I'm going to do them darker purple just for a bit of variation. Feel free to, to you know, variate what you're drawing. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the skin, uh, unless the person that you're drawing it for obviously wants it exactly the same. But I'm drawing this for an example, so it's fine. So, there you go. I did that a bit wrong, didn't I? Yeah. So there you go. Um, he's got a darker bit here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a darker colour. So, uh, you can grab the colour you've got and just make it darker. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and fill that in. So, I don't really know what it is, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Bit of shading there. So you can see, um, I think it goes down a bit more at the sides here, doesn't it? There you go. That's what it looks like so far. Um, right. I'm gonna finally do the shoes. I'm gonna layer underneath so I don't have to worry about going on top because his his shoes are white. So what we're gonna do is actually, you know what we're gonna do. We can add tongues like to the shoe, if you know what I mean. Like the, I show you what I mean. Uh, so his shoes are white. I'm gonna make them slightly grey so we can see them easier. Just for ex the example of this video. Um, so there's his shoes. They look pretty good, and he's got little black bits at the bottom. So we're gonna add them in. Right, now what I mean by the tongues of the shoes is I'm going to grab that whiter colour and I'm going to go on top of the legs. I'm just going to add the tongue, as you can see here. That's wrong. See? It looks pretty good. And then we're going to add some dark purple here. So this dark purple I'm going to grab. I'm just going to add that in at the top of this because he's got it on his one. So yeah. So, what we've done there is pretty nice. We're going to grab our skin colour. We can we can use layers that are underneath if we need to. We can just add our other hand there. Alright. So this hand, it needs a bit of shading as you can tell. It looks a bit dull and a bit flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a darker colour. So what we're going to do is just do that and then make it a bit red. It makes it a nicer colour. So we're going to go on our hand and skin layer. I'm just going to go ahead and add some details here. So we're going to add a bit of shading there. Um, and a bit here. Um, that looks pretty good. We're going to just add a bit here. I didn't really want it like that, so that's a bit better. Um, we're going to add a bit here. So, um, so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, that looks good to me. Need to go out a bit more on here, though. Uh, there you go. You do the same with the other hand. So as you can see, I did it on this layer, didn't I? So I'm just going to add some shading in there. That's perfect. Now, for the head. Got the hair and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go on top of the head layer. Uh, underneath the arm layer as well. We're going to grab, grab his hair, uh, add his hair. Right, he's got a bandana though, hasn't he? So we're going to add that first. It's the same colour as the t-shirt. So we're just going to add a bandana here. There 
you go, it's this bandana type thing. Uh, feel free to be creative. So the back of his head has got nothing on there, but imagine it would probably be tied up by something. So you can add like a little bit of wavy kind of. Do that again. See, so you've got something that looks, it looks like it's been tied up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna add a little bit of shading in here because it'll make it look better. Oh, that's the wrong colour. See? Looks good to me. And then we're gonna a little bit add a little bit of shading in there as well. Uh, so there you go. Right. Hair. So the hair's gonna obviously go underneath the bandana apart from this top bit here. So we'll go underneath the bandana and make a new layer and we're gonna choose the hair colour. So it's a bit orangey, isn't it? So we'll go about about let's see. It's good looks like a good colour, maybe a bit darker. Looks like an alright colour to me. We're just gonna go ahead and add the hair in here, so it'll probably look about like this. I'd say it looked like it looked like that. Maybe a little bit more here. Looks good to me. To the other side, uh, a little bit of fringe will grow like this. A little bit of fringe there, uh, and we're gonna add some spiky hair on top. There you go. Uh, so that looks a bit bad. Okay. Uh, now there's hair on top here, as you can see. It probably goes on top of the bandana. So we can make a new layer on top of the bandana. And we're just going to make some hair droop over here. So that again. That's good to me. So yeah, there you go. Uh, we're going to add some shading on top of this uh, hair, so I'm going to go underneath first and we're just going to add some shading right here, and right here, and right there, and then we're going to go and add on top of the bandana and we add some shading right here, from there. Now there's always shiny bits in here, so we're going to add some shiny bits right You can see. Uh, this looks looking pretty good to me. So we need some shiny bits in the clothes now, because they look pretty sparkly. So we're gonna add some shiny bits here and here, and then we're gonna add some more shiny bits on the trousers, which are here. Just choosing a lighter color of what you've got for the color, if you know what I mean. Um, shoes. We're gonna add some white shading. Uh, sorry, highlights. Uh, and then we're gonna add some eyes and stuff, eyes and mouth and stuff. Okay. So we're gonna wanna go on a layer all on top of everything. Okay. Actually, will this hair go for his eyes? I don't think so. I don't think it will. Um, but anyway, he's got certain kind of button eyes, hasn't he? So we're just going to add two little blocks like this. One's going to be a little bit skinnier because it's like around the corner a bit more, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Right, he might need some eyebrows. I know he doesn't have any eyebrows in this, but we're going to add some eyebrows anyway. Uh, so. There you go. And uh, that looks pretty good to me. We're going to add some highlights in his eyes. There you go. Now his skin, we're going to add some dark colours. So, uh, this colour here. There you go, we can add some cheeks for him there. And he looks pretty much done to me. Apart from the all these sparkly bits and the 
but uh, dots in the bandana. So we're going to go to the bandana, we're going to have some dots here. We can do the same on the arms, but maybe a bit smaller. Oops. Arm layer was here. Well, that wasn't the arm layer, but it doesn't matter too much. Just the layer that's on top of the arms, I suppose. And there you go. So he looks pretty cool to me. Um, I think this is done pretty well. It was obviously really quick because I just decided um, to do this at uh, 3.40 a.m. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial though. Uh, I'm going to show you how to save and, and all that kind of stuff. So we want to get rid of my my banner, my uh, tem, uh, template here. And we're going to make a new layer underneath. If, this want, if you want this to be a profile picture, you might want to add a background colour. So I'm going to add kind of turquoise. So. <clears throat> right, so you want to grab the fill tool and go to layer instead of canvas and just click. There you go, done. Um, that's a background. Uh, if you want to be really adventurous, you know, you can add like, um, you know, different colours and stuff. Like, maybe, let me see. So we can make this a rectangle tool again. Just come on now. So we can go like this. Just keep going higher in colour, I suppose. Oops. There you go. Looks pretty cool to me. And he looks like he's standing on something then as well. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you a lot. You can do your own art, as you know, for free. Um, if you have a mouse, that is. And you can always use a trackpad. But anyway, he looks pretty similar to him. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, goodbye.